Good afternoon, this video I'm going to do, again going back to that kid Tim and uh, young man and his video and uh, the falling out between him and uh, Brian Dengler. Now in this video as you're going to see, this particular video, he's going to tell, he's going to call Brian everything we've told Brian. A manipulator. A heretic. Deceitful, a liar, and yet he's going to come back on us and say, "Well, we've lied." We're all, he's going to say, "We're not like I'm not like those liars, you know, like Ed and Max and Jason and Jay and blah, 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 blah. and uh, uh, the uh, the hate blind Denver cult." Well, how are we different? Where have we lied, Tim? Where have we lied? Oh, we're obsessive. That's the that's the argument. Because we we scrutinize his videos. So so uh, uh, Brian Denning is now accusing him of scrutinizing his videos. Scrutinize means you look at the video and actually look at it and and see where it's untruthful. If you're a good teacher, you don't mind being your videos being looked at closely. These guys can't stand it, Robert Baker. Jim, Gene Kim. They can't stand it. Brian Denley, of course. But we're the liars. That's their argument. No, the whole idea was, you know, they he makes, uh, Brian Denley makes 10 videos attacking the Trinity, so we make 10 videos uh, uh, defending the Trinity, but we're obsessive. So he's allowed to attack and lie about uh, doctrines, uh, heretic, or be a heretic, you're going to see here, this is Tim, where he points out correctly. The big thing he has problem with is that Brian Daniel calls everyone who's sinning, not doing his sin, lost. That's Lordship Salvation. Now, Tim doesn't see that. Tim says this is the fallacy of uh, that, uh, you know, the, the, you know, that the works, that if, you know, you works up to show, you know, your salvation or something. That's what Lordship Salvation is. They, they can't get the fact there's two wings to the Lordship Salvation. There's a Calvinistic wing where if, you, if you're not producing fruit, you're never saved. The meaning wing is if you're sinning, you lost your salvation. But Tim will call, will, 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 will call Brian everything we said about Brian. Yet he won't admit the fact that we were right. And Tim would admit that he knew about this, people. This is a new revelation to Tim. Tim admits he should have spoken up earlier. So when we are putting up videos saying, oh, uh, Brian is wrong on this issue of sanctification. Brian is wrong on Romans 11. Brian is wrong about putting up a test, a Christian test saying that uh, you have to admit that Jesus Christ you have to say Jesus Christ come, uh, has come in the flesh is, is, a, is, is bogus. He was nowhere to be found in our videos saying, yeah, you're right, guys. He was cowering, hiding under a rock like the rest of these bums. And they said, we're obsessive. No, we're going after Brian and, and, and Breaker and all these guys to protect the sheep. You see, Tim, you don't care about the sheep. You don't care about the ones being left behind in the cult. That is, Max Bauer said are being devoured, being mer made merchandise of. That's why we were called obsessive, because when Brian would come up and make a video, we'd come up and counter it, hoping that people from his cult would see that, or people about to go into his cult would see that and say, wait a minute. Because People in awe of, of Robert Blake, or people in awe of, of, of Brian Denver, according to Tim's own words. Oh, he has so many, he has so many uh, subscribers. How who am I to argue with them? And that's the, that's the, the you know, that's the thing with Hoffman. That's the thing with Kim. You know, Kim's a doctor. You know, I can't argue with him. And then Robert Baker, oh man, you know, and, you know, he hides behind 1 Corinthians 15. I'm giving the gospel, one to four. So there's a reason for our 
obsessing on these guys. So Tim finally wakes up. Tim is going to, at the end of the video, he's going to talk, uh, he's going to talk about the issue of uh, quenching the Holy Spirit. That you can resist the Holy Spirit means you can quench it. See, Robert, see what Brian Denny is always saying is that we have the Holy Spirit. If you have the Holy Spirit, you can't, there's no way you could be doing the things that, these, that he says, like listen to rock music, for instance. Or video, playing video games. Well, if you have the Holy Spirit, you, you know, you certainly, or uh, if you're not under conviction, yeah, people under conviction, doesn't mean that they stop doing it. They quench the Holy Spirit. They say, I'm going to still do it. And that's what Tim tries to explain to him. Or, or lay out. But Tim always knew this. But where was Tim? See, he's going to put up there and say, you know, what's, the guy goes, uh, uh, Brian goes in this video, what's, what's next? Live streams with uh, Jason and, or Ed or whatever. Well, according to Tim, Brian Denley got on a live stream with uh, King's Table. And then Brian Denley wants to pull his age issue. Like he's some, you know, and Max Bauer pointed this out, like he's some like, oh, I'm, I'm, you know, I've been through all this. Every time, everything time comes up, Brian's been through it. And they, they, pull, they pull out the First Timothy 5 issue, you know. Oh, well, you have to treat an elder, you know. And I, and he's, he supposedly have helped benefited the, benefit, the, 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 uh, the body of Christ. He, he mentions it in his letter there. He doesn't do anything for the body of Christ. The videos he put up earlier, five years earlier, before he made his big switch, were things he learned from other people. They were fairly good, you know, put, they defend the priest rib, they uh, defend the King James Bible. But they weren't earth shattering, they weren't anything new. This guy is, 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 is puffed up in his brain. It's locked up, you see. And that's the same thing Tim is going to point out to you. He's totally arrogant. What have we been saying for five years? But we're the liars. I'm, he, uh, Tim, got, he, this is association of stuff us. I'm not like, like those liars. You know, in in the hate down uh, buying Denver cult. <laughs> oh, the the same cult that's been telling the truth for five years. There's not one thing Tim mentions about that about Brian that we haven't said. Not one thing. Let me give a little example here, and then we do some more videos on this. This is a thirty one minutes in. And from what I've been told, that is mo the moderating this whole thing, then please relay this message to Jake Mays. And I replied to him, message related. I told him what, I told Jake what Brian was going to do. And then I said, I don't know what Jake is planning, but he's either going to edit his video or do a part two with some corrections to his study. Brian, here's Jake Mays' email. Talk to him yourself. And then here is, and then right here, he says, either his video is taken down or I'll be exposing him and calling him out by name. And then, I, and then I replied to this, if you still want to do a video exposing him because you disagree with his study, so be it. I'll be on the lookout for your video exposing Philip Newton as well. Because Brian came to me and badmouthed Philip Newton behind Philip Newton's back and talked about how his study on Christmas was prideful and it was wicked and stuff. And even went as far as to say that Philip Newton could be, wind up going post-trib and going into all these crazy heresies. I mean, uh, Brian, I, I wonder if you ever told Phil about that one. They were talking about him behind his back. I mean... I have my own issues with Phil, and I've talked to with Brethren about Phil as well. And if I need to, I'll do a separate video on, on Phil and everything, but quite frankly, he's not worth the time. But again, I'm just continuing here. So Brian has a serious issue with Philip Newton about and his Christmas thing, and so do I. Philip Newton's studies on Christmas are absolutely wicked. But continuing, and you are so triggered... I gather the Newtons against celebrating Christmas. These guys celebrate Christmas. And they go back to you know Romans and and and, and uh, you know uh, the idea of you know and <clears throat> looking at each day and the weaker brethren, the weaker brethren look at each will will celebrate holidays. When you look at Colossians; it's the stronger brethren who don't 
care they take care of each, each day as as uh, as as unto the Lord. But you can't force that on a weaker brethren because they have to be fully persuaded. So when people are following what Daniel is doing, they're sinning because what is not not a faith is sin. And Daniel is bullying people into doing things that they don't believe in. By Jake Mays of his 222 subscribers and his music video that barely got any attention. Shouldn't you be more concerned about Philip emulating you? Yes, he's emulating you. Yes, Philip Newton looks like a clone of Brian Dellinger. Philip Newton has the same beard, wears the same hats, wears glasses, even opens up his videos in the same way. Well, what does that say about Brian Dellinger? It says you can be he, that he can be cloned. He has the same outfit, the beard. Th that. It shows you he has a uniform. It's it's a persona, people. The fact that he can be duplicated shows he's he has a persona. It's a fake persona that somebody else can duplicate. And when a guy does it, he says, "Hey, that's Brian Downer." <laughs> He's he's wearing the lumberjack uniform. He's got his beard, you know. I mean, so he, he can be, he's a fake. With a question, uh, beginning with the sermon, asking the question and going into his sermon, just like Brian. So yeah, don't tell see me that. See that? Brian has Brian has routine. Brian has routine that people are picking up on that people can actually duplicate. He's a fraud. Philip Newton isn't emulating Brian, isn't having respecters of per respecter of persons for him. If there's one person I know right now that is guilty of the sin of emulation, it's Philip Newton. He looks like a flat out clone of Brian Dellinger. Yeah. And that's cool. What does it say about Brian Dellinger? That you can clone him. It's very weird. You can get up, if you're a normal person, you can't know it can clone you. You, know, you just get up there and somebody says, well, you know. But if you're, if you're coming up there with the same look every time you're on a video, like, like you know, the same, the same shirt, the same you know look, and they, they say, say, "I want to look like Bonnie Denver." You get cloned, and all, all these guys try to clone themselves after Ruckman because they all try to be chalk, uh, uh, chalk uh, preachers, doing their little, uh, you know, drawings. Like Gene Kim, you see Gene Kim trying to draw stuff on his uh, on his board, little houses and stuff, and yeah, they try to emul emulate uh, Peter Buckman. And they can't do it because they have an autistic ability. Creepy. And it's wicked. It is creepy and wicked. All these guys are. Continuing. Yes, he's emulating you. Undermining your ministry and him and his subscribers shoving his Christmas studies in people's faces and undermining your ministry in your own comments section. Take another look through the comments of your unknown God of Christmas video. I saw you gave Philip Newton's comment to heart on your Why Losers Play Video Games video you have some misplaced values, Brian. And he absolutely does. Brian has such an issue and calls Philip Newton all, all the stuff behind his back about the whole Christmas thing, but then runs to his comment and hearts it the moment the whole Losers Play Video Game study gets put up. See? He's saying, Brian's double-minded. How long have we said that? For five years. Five years people have been pointing this out to people. Five years we've been pointing out, where are you, Tim? But he's still going to cause liars. Because he, he is going to be part of the hate-filled anti-Brian Daniel cult. But Brian Daniel is a liar. He's a fraud. He's a manipulator. Uh, he's a heretic. Oh, but other than that, he's fine. <laughs> Misplaced values. Misplaced values. You made your comments in your music study like, Honey child, shut your stupid mouth, you don't know what you're talking about. You told me on Sunday that those comments were not to Jake specifically. At this point, Brian, I don't believe you, and I think you lied to me. Ooh, he's a liar. And I do, I think you lied to me, Brian. I think you were cl clearly talking about Jake and that's He's called him a liar. He's called him a liar. I remember, I think it was JT got up there and he says, you know, the guys, you know, that... The, those of us who interact with each other, with myself and, you know, Max and 
you know, Private Barry in 1611 and Jason. You guys couldn't even get on a video and, and, and Frank and, and talk to each other half hour and blah, blah, blah. I'll tell you one thing, we never called each other liars. We've never called each other liars. Because we're not. These guys are all a bunch of liars. They're all backstabbers. No matter what disagreements might flare up between us, as between people, we're not going to call each other liars and frauds and heretics. They are. They're calling each other. That's what they're calling each other. And just flat out taking shots at them, calling them honey child and telling 20 year olds to sit down and shut their stupid mouths. And then on top of all that, even implying that they're lost by saying, do you really know God? You said See that? And they all do that to each other. <clears throat> I would never tell, you know, I don't doubt any uh, people uh, interact with their salvation. These guys do. This is what they are. This is exactly what they are as a group. Hey, Tim, where were you for five years? You knew the doctrines. You respect the persons. You said you cowered before uh, 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 Denver. But you're accusing us of being liars. That in your study. It's ridiculous. Judging people's, judging people's salvation on their sins. There you go. That's Lordship salvation. He can deny all he wants, but that's what Lordship salvation teaches. You judge people based on what you see them do. On things that they are struggling with, things that they may disagree on or be wrestling with, whatever. Uh, no. You can't do that. That's heretical. And Brian claims he, they don't do that. that. Brian says, oh, we understand people you know, struggling with sin. But they do. That's what they do. Because if you're committing sins that Brian's not committing, and what, the, what, what Brian will bring in is the idea, well, if you're not struggling with that sin, see, it's okay if you're struggling with the sin, then we know you're saved. But if you're not struggling with the sin, and, 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 and content to still doing it, then you must, not, you must be lost. Because, as you said, as at the end, toward the end of the video, he rejects the idea, he doesn't stand the idea. He, he, Brian says he believes in eternal security. But he doesn't believe in the, eternal security is the idea that you can resist the Holy Spirit unto death. So Brian is a fraud. He doesn't know what eternal security is. And Tim is going to point out that Brian is totally incorrect in Romans 11, which clearly he must be still teaching. When he first came out, we, that was something else people jumped on him at, because he was denying eternal security based on Romans 11 and Revelation 22. Then he came out late and says, oh, I've, I've, I've renounced all that and that. that. Clearly he hadn't, because Tim is, uh, takes him to task and that, saying it's all about the Gentiles being cut off, not individuals, in Romans 11. We said that years ago. I got videos up. Where were you, Tim? Where were you, Tim, to say, hey, Ed, you're right on this, and, and Brian's wrong? Oh, no, you never do that, because you consider me part of the, the hate Brian didn't look cold. You did your CCM video right after you commented on Jake's study. And he did. He left a comment on Jake's study. And then right after that, a few days later, or that, that following week, up, up and comes all these videos against CCM music. Because Jake just did a study on what does the Bible say about music. And in that video, you even want, went over his argument about the timbrels and the tabrets and the drums. You even said something along the lines of, you out there that are in your 20s needing to shut their stupid mouth. That would be Jake. I'm not buying what you told me, and you should apologize to D Jake for that. If you're not a bishop, what are you? Again, Brian told me he was he wasn't a bishop and all these things, saying that he he's not in the office of a bishop because his ministry is both saved and lost and all this stuff. It <laughs> saved and lost. He's not a bishop because he doesn't have a church. People. He doesn't have a church. That's why he's not a bishop. Bishops go with churches, local churches. Deacons go with local churches. Brian Denning wants you to think because he's out in nature, he's part of a church. So he can con you to send him money. And then he says he's in a full-time ministry. Full-time ministry means he's working eight hours a day <coughs> on his 
church, church activities. He's not doing that, people. Why are you being deceived? He is not in full-time ministry. He's a liar. And like and like Mike Max says, keep sending him your money, you dumb morons. When he lies to you, he's worse than an infidel. He's not taking his care of his family. Oh, hey, he used to No, he's not taking the care of his family because he's stealing money. Stealing money is not taking care of your family. So, let's put this up. Let's go blow by blow with this guy. I want to show all you, all you downloads, all you frauds, all you guys from Breaker and Kim, all you rotten, no good frauds. <coughs> Excuse me, my voice. And he's still going to take swings on it. What's, what's next? He goes, what's, what's next? Uh, you're going to do a live stream with Fenninger and blah, blah, blah. And according to Tim, he did a live stream with uh, King Stable. But so what? Oh, I'm not, uh, Tim goes, I'm not going to be part of that obsessive group that, uh, you know, makes video after video against uh, Brian Denver. No, you're just going to let him devour the sheep. Tim. After all the things you've exposed about Brian Dengler, his lying, his manipulation, his heresies, heresies, you're just going to go back and uh, uh, renounce us, who've been dealing with the guy for five years, everything we've said about the guy was true. Everything you've repeated, we've said is true. And you won't acknowledge that. You won't acknowledge that. We, 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 we mocked him five years ago and have dealt with him time and time and time again. The same thing you're dealing with the issue of sanctification at the end of this video. He's going to talk about that. Sanctification. That you can quench the Holy Spirit. And Brian doesn't get the issue of free will. We've dealt with them over and over and over again. Why? To keep people from falling into the trap that you've been falling into. Oh, you just and, and and Brian has used that shield, and he's trying to use it now against Tim. Oh, you're not going to be like those guys, at Tim, are you? Are you? See, that's what Brian then is afraid of. He's afraid of people constantly hammering him, exposing him, because his plan is to get the uh, his little nucleus together of of people who are sending money to him that he can count on. And once he gets that, then he's going to go off off YouTube and get the DVDs. He has to get a group of people sending in on a regular basis money that he can live on. He hates YouTube because YouTube exposes him. And people he calls obsessive are the ones keeping uh, keep uh, keep him under pressure. And Tim has said everything we've said. Over five years, but he calls us. We're not, he goes. He goes. Oh, well, we're not, I'm not like those liars. Where have we lied, Tim? Why don't you come on my video and tell me where we've lied? So I'll stop here and put this up, and we do another video on him. This was. This is. This is what the war has been all about, people. This is what the battle has been about for five years. And people have been in his cult and come out. And five years ago, we knew he was teaching Lordship Salvation. Five years ago, we said, this guy's a Lordship Salvation. Five years ago, we saw he, what direction he was going. You look at his video starting five years, from, from five years ago, where the mask was on. Remember, people, he said, he told us, oh, you misunderstood what I was talking about with the Trinity. Then the mask came off and said, no, Jesus Christ is the Father. He admitted deceiving us about the Trinity. Then he starts whining and crying, everyone's betraying him. Everyone's betraying him. 
And like Max Bauer, Max Bauer said, he, he wants to think he's some great elder. He wants to lie about what a local church is. A local church is totally legitimate. It has an organ, but it has an organization. He's not. He's not part of a local. He wants to say he's going. To, he's a church because he has to deceive people. And that's what Tim is telling you. But Tim doesn't have the guts. Tim isn't man enough to actually admit to us. People have gone after Brian Denver for five years that we were right. It's not one thing we said about Brian Denver that Tim hasn't said in this video. Not one thing. The way he controls his voice, we call him on that. Manipulation. That's cult like. His appeal, his idea that he has to be shielded from his videos being scrutinized. No teacher cares about his uh, video being scrutinized. No video, no, no, no. You're scrutinizing me and looking at every video I do. That's why you put the videos up. So people watch them. Don't watch them too closely. Though. That's what Brian Thing is saying. Don't watch me too closely now. You know, you'll catch me in something. So what's this, this, what's this, what, what, what has this war been over? What has this battle been over for five years? Saving souls. Saving souls. Oh, Ed, why don't you get your own ministry? Stop picking on this guy. Saving souls. I've gotten plenty, plenty, plenty of mail. Much, uh, I got a comment in one of my videos. That the guy was just about to go into the buying thing with coal. Because Brian Denning is very subtle. He's very clever. He's very evil. Tim calls him evil. But we're the, we're the, we're the liars. Tim calls him Brian Denning evil. Well, I'm not like those guys. I'm not like those guys as Brian Denning. I hated people. I, I, I don't hate Brian Denning. I love him in the Lord, blah, blah, blah. He's not said one thing about Brian Denning that we haven't said. The only difference is we're not going to stop pounding him. Tim is going to crawl into his rock and run, run away. Because he doesn't care about the souls that he's left behind. As, the, that, as Max said, they're going to be devoured by Brian Denning. Because that's what he is. He's a wolf. That's what wolves do. They devour the sheep. They make merchandise of you. Robert Baker makes merchandise of you. So the, the, the video is being put up over and over and over again to defend sound doctrine from liars. And the liars come up like Baker, Gene Kim, Hoffman, John Davis, Sluder, Brian Dangler. And what's their argument? You guys are just obsessed with us. <laughs> You're obsessive. Who's going to counter the forced options? Why are you keep looking at our videos? Why don't you make you know videos on doctrine yourself? Why aren't you doing this? Because we're going to point out your lies. That's a ministry. As far as we call it ministry in a sense of you know, a purpose on YouTube. So don't tell this guy. Because everything Tim has said, we've said. His racism. Oh, Edge, you don't know what you're talking about. Robert Baker is not doesn't say is not saying that. Robert Baker is not saying this. His article, he just says he's that's his opinion. Can't find one New Testament verse to defend his opinion. That no one should, Christians can't be interracially mad. 
That was Ruxin's footnote in Acts 16. Well, there's no New Testament verses that forbid a two Christians to intermarry, interracial marriage. You think that'd be enough? Well, you know, oh no, we got, we can't have that happen. Because Robert Blake's heritage might be affected. His white heritage, white southern heritage. And with Brian Denner, oh man, he's going to marry a German girl because she'll have the affinity for cold weather. <laughs> you know how stupid that is? It's like, you know, brain numb. It's, it's brain numbing stupidity. There were Germans in Texas for generations. You think they're, they, you think they have an affinity for the cold? I think Germans came down there, whole, whole settlement and the Confederates attacked them, by the way. Yeah, the Confederates attacked those Germans at a settlement in Texas because they were against slavery. Yeah, there's your freedom-loving Confederates. Let me stop and put this up. Amen, thank you.